there is a bunch of feelings in this world. You have stuff like sadness, happiness, but one emotion that stands out to me for being terrifying is For those who guessed nostalgia, yep, you are in fact correct. Uh, why is nostalgia terrifying? Well, to figure that out, we have to talk about what makes it terrifying. There is a bunch of reasons why nostalgia could scare people. Whether that be because of a bad childhood or just because it's unsettling sometimes. Some people don't like getting uh, reminded of their childhood, which is understandable, but still, there are other reasons why people get scared of it, so let's talk about those feelings. Now look, nostalgia happens and, you know, you think about the old times, the good old times of childhood, but since their childhood has probably been over for a few years now, hopefully, but you know, since those times you have probably lost some stuff or rather friends and family, I mean, even if you have never talked to anybody in your childhood, you can still very much experience nostalgia. You may ask, how so? Well, through one of my favorite things on this earth. One of the easiest ways to feel nostalgia is through, well, it's in the chapter name, buddy. Video games and the internet. Whether it be Minecraft or Gmod, you can feel nostalgia through the internet super easily. It can be something simple as loading up a level or wall you used to play when being a child, or rewatching an old YouTube cartoon years later. I mean, for Christ's sakes, if you're a Minecraft veteran like me, most of you probably fucking explode with memories when I show you the tutorial world and that is so fucking real of you I'll be honest or if you aren't a minecraft player and dabble in more of a in more of other games then it's still possible I could show you like a OG Fortnite map I guess uh, or like a old Gmod map or even just like the old YouTube page old Instagram, shit like that. If you wanna feel nostalgic, go like, load up a or on Minecraft, or listen to a song you haven't heard since you were a kid. You get it. The internet can have nostalgia. I don't think I need to tell you more examples. You get it. Internet equals pretty fucking nostalgic. Change is scary. Obviously, it depends on what kind of change. The difference between I'm gonna put on a shirt first instead of my pants today, and instead of brushing my teeth, I'm gonna jump off a hot air balloon before the parachute. Is you know it's a big difference. But the change between childhood to wherever the person or viewer is at right now is probably big. Now look, I'm not gonna lie. I know no. I'm a teen, but still, just for like most people, a lot of stuff has changed since they went through the childhood, through their childhood. Whether it's just a change of taste in music or behavior, it's big. Change is scary, and change plays a big part in nostalgia. Nostalgia can make you remember your regrets and missed opportunities. When you look onto the past, or into the past rather, you can remember the times when you think, I could have done that better, or why didn't I do that? 
No, obviously, you shouldn't beat yourself up over the past. Don't dwell on the past. Looking at the past can make you start to think of stuff you wanna fix, or you want to fix, but you can't. How does this tie into nostalgia? Easy. When you go to a nostalgic place, like, for example, your classroom, you may remember stuff like embarrassing moments, or just fuck-ups that you had. Shut up. When you are lying in bed, or laying in bed, you can still feel this feeling. But I just think nostalgia enhances that. Makes it ten times worse. Because you're actually there. Or just being able to recreate the past. That's pretty much one of the feelings too. When going through nostalgic places, you might start feeling disconnected. Not from the actual place, but rather depressingly yourself. Going through nostalgic places, you may remember of how you were innocent. If you were back when you were a child, you were happy, innocent, clueless, ignorant. Nostalgia is depressing, for the same reason it's terrifying, you feel loss, you feel change, you feel regret, and you feel disconnection, and to add it, you feel sadness, emptiness almost. Going to these places, you remember childhood, the golden ages of your life, back when everything was just easy. You didn't have to worry about your looks, you didn't have to worry about school, you didn't have to worry about the future. You were just happy. Nostalgia makes you remember the good old days of your life, before everything went to shit. And it's terrifying. You remember the times of your life where everything was great, and now you aren't. Uh, yeah, sadness is one of the reasons why nostalgia is such a strong feeling you can feel you can feel when nostalgia hits you because you feel so much sadness well back to nostalgia what makes nostalgia terrifying and what triggers it well it's loss, change, regret, disconnection, sadness, and the internet triggers that. Nostalgia is terrifying. Because of that, without those feelings, it wouldn't be nostalgia. Sure, you can argue, can those feelings are all pretty depressing. And to that I say, yeah, they are! Because nostalgia is depressing, and yet, terrifying. Well, I'm here once again, at an outro. Standing here and with the only thing to say... What the fuck? As of time of writing this shit, the video is on 2. 8k views holy shit thank you guys i don't even know what to say it's it is completely insane i was already freaking the fuck out at 306 uh, not 306 306 and now it's 2.8k views you guys are seriously amazing it's crazy i have nothing but love for you guys i've been wanting to become a youtuber for so long and this shit is crazy to me because it's getting, you know, it's actually helping me get there. So, thank you guys. Hope to see you next time.